Hey everyone, Andre here bringing you a review of Reillusion's Crazy Talk 8 Pipeline. This video is sponsored by Reillusion. Crazy Talk 8 Pipeline is a quick animator designed to create cartoon character animations or photorealistic scans of your face on 3D models within a couple of minutes. Unlike Reillusion's similar program Crazy Talk Animator, Crazy Talk 8 Pipeline focuses mainly on the upper body and facial animations rather than the scenes themselves. Its main selling point honestly has to be its photorealistic face scan feature, which is fun to use, but does take a few tries to get right. There are dozens upon dozens of options to tweak almost every detail of your scan. Using your uploaded images, the program then prints them on a 3D actor. Actors are Crazy Talk's version of avatars or characters. Once you have an actor placed in your scene using the content manager on the right hand side, you can drag and drop onto the timeline animations and set keyframes for specific body parts like the eyes, lips, head, and many more. Pipeline also gives you quick customizable features for the character's body type and clothing, which is a plus. The bonus packs, which I have installed, have plenty of extra combinations of outfits and accessories to use in my animations. Crazy Talk 8 Pipeline also improves on its UI layout and design from previous software to bring a faster and more responsive version than ever before. It's also customizable, so you can rearrange the windows to your liking. The export feature is pretty extensive as well and lets you export to several different video formats and resolutions as well as compress your video, which is helpful depending on what third-party software you're using to clip your animations together. I do need to point out that when you are manually lip syncing, the list of presets for mouth pronunciations feels like it's lacking a few sounds. I can't quite get it to look right, but it's still pretty close and fun to use. This is just me being really picky. There also aren't extensive lighting tools to choose from. You can pick an atmosphere from the content manager, but there isn't much customization. There is also a physics feature that you can add to your animations for hair movement and wind simulation. It's not powerful, but it's a welcome addition to add some detail to your animations. I do need to note that I encountered a couple of crashes while using the 3D face scan, uh, but it didn't degrade from the experience as a whole. The program's not designed for recreational use, but more business applications. If you need to create quick, fun little animations for a presentation or promotional video, Crazy Talk 8 Pipeline lets you create something within a few minutes. But don't go into this program expecting to create large, elaborate character animations. It doesn't do what something like Maya does or something from Autodesk, but it's not designed to do that. And this is uh, this is a much cheaper version of Maya and you get very specific features and it's easy to get into uh, because it really took me probably about 15 minutes to get into the program and actually figure out how to use it. And uh, that's really impressive. It's hard to find programs that actually are that easy and intuitive to get used to. So there are different versions of the software that come with certain features included and excluded. So if you're on a budget, you have several options. The last topic I wanted to bring up is its extensive documentation. On their website, they have YouTube tutorials, a user manual, and even community forums. So you can ask questions to actual users of the software and get help quickly. Because of this, it's very easy to learn tips and tricks and answer most of the questions that you'll have for the software. All versions of Crazy Talk are clearly designed to be easy to jump into and use right away and be user friendly. And this edition of Crazy Talk is no exception. That's all I wanted to say on this. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.